thank you everybody for coming. I know a lot of you are with us already, which I love that you're here, even though you're already with us because I have studied this stuff over and over and over again um, after it finally did click. Actually, I, tell, I like to tell this story and I use Blake as an example of this story. Um, they did, they like tried to convince me to consider this model for a while before I would even open my eyes to it. Because most of you know, we had this already. Like we had an established brokerage. We were super happy with where everything was at. Our people were really happy. Our brokerage, um, everybody told me it wasn't gonna be profitable for a long time. It was already profitable within like six months and we were doing really well. Um, and so when they approached me, one, it was a pride issue. Like I was like, I don't wanna do that. I do not wanna leave everything I just built to just go to, Ooh, EXP, like look at the brand. Like that's how I felt. <laughs> okay. I figured out a way to make it work for us. We, we now love it. Like it, it's part of our brand and what's so cool about it is once I got past that aspect and realized that I could make it like just the platform to put my brand onto, then all of a sudden it clicked for me. Um, but Mike kept sending me all of these annoying videos. I was like, just stop sending me videos. I don't know who these people are. I don't wanna watch them. I'm too busy. I don't have time. And you guys are gonna have this experience too. Like as you start um, talking to people and they wanna be um, fed about what is EXP, they wanna just hear it mouth to mouth. And so if you try to send them a video, to get them to watch the video, it's important. It's important for them to watch the video. But what I discovered was it took me like hitting rock bomb one day and I was vacuuming my house. I had nothing left to listen to on my um, phone because I had not yet downloaded Mike's podcast, which he didn't want to this one. So I broke down and started listening on YouTube to this list of videos that he had sent me. And all of a sudden, one of them clicked with me. And I just realized, oh my goodness, if we don't join this model, we are going to be beat by this model. Um, because they offer things that as a little independent brokerage, I could not offer. And they offer things that when I was at Remax, I did not have, which was part of why I left to do my own brokerage. And I left Keller Williams because I thought Remax had things that Keller Williams didn't have. And none of those big franchise models had what EXP now has. And so we're gonna talk a lot about that. But Blake, when I, Blake is, for those of you that don't know, Blake is like my right hand guy. He's on my team, he does a lot of our branding, he's super important to me. And so like, when I started thinking about this model, I was like, hey, Blake has to be on board. What do you think? Can you watch the videos? And he was like, <laughs> I like things the way they are. I don't wanna watch the videos. I don't wanna change. I like things the way they are. So we flew him out to Vegas. We flew him to Vegas. He went all the way on the airplane, took his wife. How many hours did you spend, you know, traveling there even? Yep. Came to the event. At the end of the event, you know, he did get to meet Mike and David and Rosie and he was like, okay, hey, I like them, but I still just like things the way they are. And finally we came back and I'm like, Blake, have you watched any of the videos yet? And he was like, nope. Nope. <laughs> I was like, let me get this straight. He took all the time to fly to Vegas with us to sit in the classes and you're still refusing to watch the videos. And he was like, yeah. And so then I remembered, wait, I also refused to watch the videos for months. I refused to watch the videos and it took me like doing something else, like a mundane task around the house. So I told him that and he, what did you do? <laughs> So I was mowing the next day after, and I was like, all right, I'll just listen. I'll listen to it. I won't even watch it. I'll listen to it. <laughs> you won't even commit to that. And then it clicked because I was like, oh, wait, I've already, I've went through this already one time before. Like people bring up Netflix and Blockbuster. For me, it was music uh, because everybody has Spotify. Yeah. Apple Music. Yeah. So in my band, you could go into Best Buy, FYE record stores, and you could buy my music. So the third record cycle, I couldn't do that anymore because where was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was like, okay. Yep. Let's go. 
So finally, he had his aha moment after watching the videos that I had been begging him to watch for like six weeks probably. And then I knew, okay, if I can get Blake on board, I can get all of our other people on board. Blake had so much invested into our brand. It was a pride piece. Like we had developed the, all of the branding materials and everything together. And so once I realized it, I sat down one by one on a Zoom call because as soon as Seth and I decided, we were like, we're not gonna keep this to ourselves. We have to make this transition and we wanted to make it quickly. And so literally by the, t by the time he decided that he was ready to go and we knew we were gonna do it, the next day, it was a Saturday, I Zoom called with every single person on the team and it was one of the scariest moments for me because I was like, okay, you trusted me to leave your brokerage and come to my brokerage and now I'm telling you, oh my gosh, we're taking our brokerage onto another brokerage and I had to get to this point where I was okay making the move if they didn't come. But I really, really, really wanted them to see what I saw and I wanted them to come with me and every single person agreed and came. And at that time we were at about 20 people. So that's kind of my history with how we got into it. And now I wanna to explain to you the why and why um, EXP is what I think the best model that is out there. And honestly, at the time that Mike and David started talking to me, because of our national presence through video and everything that we had developed, I had a lot of, a lot of other opportunities on the table with other independent brokers and looking at other franchise models and still none of them could solve the problem that I had as an independent brokerage. So we'll talk about that a little bit. So this will kind of go through some of the history. Um, if you guys don't know, Glenn Sanford is the owner of EXP. He was at KW before. He came up with this concept and it started with a very tech-based system. He used to run one of the largest teams at KW and um, he's basically a genius. He's very, very smart in this model. Um, just continues to prove itself that it's uh, it's just such an innovative model. It, it blows me away. <sighs> okay, so it's been around since about 2009, and it's grown exponentially. And that, I mean, that's the EXP word. You'll start to realize there's a lot of things that you can do with that EXP word um, because it does make sense. We grow exponentially. Um, we add agents with experience. Um, we have great expectations for people. Um, but so anyway, it's grown a ton. And even in the state of Minnesota right now, when we started thinking about joining, we were at 200 agents, which is like nothing. We have um, 17,000 agents here in the Twin Cities Metro, okay? It was at 200 in August of 2019 when we started thinking about joining, or we're close to joining, I guess, at that point. Um, and now, today, we're close to 400, we've doubled. A lot of that is us, right? Which is exciting, because that means there's so much opportunity for us. Even some of the larger franchises here in town at one office have more than that at their offices. So there's still a ton of opportunity. But we've grown so much. In the US now, I think we're at 26,000 agents and growing. We're in all the provinces in Canada, which you might think, okay, that doesn't matter, but we're so close to Canada, and I've actually had some Canadians reach out to us um, about the model, because for them, they're looking at like it's still so fresh in Canada that they're excited about the idea of um, pioneering the way for EXP in Canada. Um, and now we're in Australia, which last night, uh, <laughs> we may have met some Australians. Um, one of them, after seeing my ring, then went somewhere else. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but I mean, you just never know who you're gonna run into and who you can expand with. It's such a cool, it's such a cool model, and we're we've just we've blown away all of the records and everything in growth. And Inman has given us just a lot of rave reviews over the last year, if you go back through and look through the history of Inman. One of the things that I loved about this, and I don't, I, Mike and David hadn't even really paid attention to this, but I'm such a branding conscious person, that when I saw this color wheel, all of a sudden I was like, okay, 
we can make this work for us. Like I looked at all the colors and um, Blake talked about this a little bit in his branding presentation yesterday about how colors have certain significance behind them. And it's like, there's this whole theory behind it. And personally for us as a brand, we were already using Navy, which is community. And we were using um, gold, all of these things. This is actually orange, but it looks gold right now, which is fun. We've added a lot of orange to our brand lately. Um, but this really is true, and the people that are joining EXP, you know, like Mike said, we're going to get into this too, it's not a franchise model, it's us. We are, we are EXP, and the people that are joining EXP are people that are joining because they care about community, and they care about collaboration and having fun with each other, and it's just such a different model because when one of us does well, all of us do well. All right. Here was Blake's aha moment. Um, and I think a lot of people have this aha moment. And when we finally got it, I went out and just did a video j here around town, standing in front of. I'll be back. I prefer she's doing, she's doing deals, people. <laughs> so I went out and did a little video around town in front of all of these places that are now vacant. It's a thing, it's a real thing. You can't find any blockbusters anymore. In fact, yesterday at our event, we were at an old Circuit City area, um, and you know, you, you look around, like JCPenney might make a comeback, but do you know how they're gonna make their comeback? They're, they're focusing on online and in the cloud sales. Um, and like, you just go around and it's store after store after store, location after location, and Sears. It's all in the cloud. Uh, Sears. Sears. Yeah. And th that was the one that I, I ended my video in front of was Sears because the, it had been there for so long yeah. that the letters were still ingrained onto the side of the building. Okay, I'm having trouble seeing over here. But this is, um, for me, kind of what started clicking and everybody is gonna have a different thing that why this model makes sense to them. Every single person, every person in this room has some reason why EXP is gonna make sense from the, for them over a traditional model. Um, for me, as a little independent broker, there were things I couldn't fix. Um, we had an agent, Chuck, who shockingly, ah, he's in Florida today. Why? Because he wanted to go get his real estate license in Florida. He wanted to be dual licensed. And he came to me and said, uh, I gotta get my, my license in Florida. And I was like, why God, I just started this brokerage. And Chuck was important for me as a little broker. And I did not have the ability for myself at that stage yet to go and get my broker's license also in Florida, also in Wisconsin, also in South Dakota, and wherever else people wanted to go sell real estate. And so then he would talked about, well, what if I joined another broker down there and then I, I stayed here and I'm like, but how are you gonna attribute all of our marketing is online. All of our marketing is on Facebook. Like you're using the brand here in Minnesota, but people in Florida can see that. Um, and so there was this thing that I just couldn't figure out how to solve it. We started talking to a couple other um, independent brokerages that had been talking about doing a franchise model and that didn't resolve that situation for me either. And there was no model that was gonna resolve that for me. I couldn't, even if you go to a large franchise, a KW or a Remax. I use those because that's where I came from. They are independently owned. So you have to get the ownership in those offices to agree to let you cross the border. Um, the other thing that most franchises have are brick and mortar spaces. Now, ironically, you guys are all sitting in a brick and mortar space, but I left my brick and mortar franchise to do this because I needed a different style of space than what that broker at the time was providing. And so I just thought, well, I'm gonna go and start my own brokerage then because I needed a different style of space with all the video that we do and we have a very collaborative environment in our office. Um, and so for me, I already was paying for my space and a lot of team, large teams are already doing that. Um, in fact, I just was talking to somebody yesterday that they bought like an old Victorian house in downtown Minneapolis for their team. And that's where their team is. And you know, a lot of big teams already have their own space. But also, even though we've got this huge space and we can accommodate a lot of agents in here, most days when I come in, there's maybe only two or three people in here at one time. 
Why? Because they're either out in the field selling houses, which is still our primary goal, or because they are working from home. You, they can do everything on Facebook. They prefer to be in their pajamas from work, you know? And that's where the cloud campus is so powerful. Um, and that is what you guys will have probably heard of EXP World. And we're gonna look at it in a second. Um, what else am I missing in here? That's, I mean, so with the typical franchise, they're gonna have overhead, they're gonna have somebody sitting at the front desk, they're gonna have office managers, and they have to have it for every single location that they have, and that is how they have to charge all the money that they charge, whereas EXP doesn't have that overhead. And that is how EXP is able to return it back to you, which we will discuss next. But anyway, we're gonna go through the world for a second in this presentation, and I'm gonna show you guys why I think it's such a powerful tool. And I just covered all of that. Great. <laughs> Training. Mike talked about this a little bit yesterday, but there every Sunday we get an email from EXP saying, here's what's coming at you this week. And it's mind blowing. There is stuff every single day, fresh new training, live training, large room training, small room training. You can do one-on-one -on -one training. Um, you can go in the world and have a meeting with your team if you want. There's so much training. It's, it's, I, I've never seen it at any place I've been at that has, offers all of the training that they have. And for those of you that are getting those emails on Sunday and you're hitting delete, stop, like stop hitting delete. Go, look, look through them. See, is there anything that would make sense for you to attend and watch? Like, is there anything that you're trying to work on to you know, up your sales or up your game with attracting agents. Like they, they coach on both things in the world. And like I said, everybody's gonna have something different. And there's a lot of record, pre-recorded stuff in there too. So you can, you don't, it doesn't have to be real time. Um, you can walk right into the world. You don't have to have an office. In fact, Christy probably does this a couple times a week for me. I have questions on things and then she's got her own account. Um, but you can walk right into the world and get help most of the time. Like, I think they're open. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> they're open early in the morning till late at night, basically. Um, if You can also get a guest pass for people that are curious about the world, but they don't want to go in there, maybe, um, because they're afraid people are going to see them. So then they go in at like 11 p.m. at night, and they run really quick through the world so nobody sees their name. <laughs> Sound familiar? And then they don't even look at it, and then they get out. Um, <laughs> I personally um, originally thought that EXP World was super cheesy, super corny. I thought I was never going to use it. I'm not a gamer. I didn't have any interest in, in like this. Like I was like dumb. I, I don't get it. And then I attended a class in the world before I had joined with Mike, with David. David was in Vegas. Mike was in California. We went into the auditorium and we sat down in a row and I felt like I was back in college, sitting with my friends in this class learning about the new iBuyer program. It was before it actually had launched. Um, and all of a sudden I realized the power of attending a meeting or attending something in the world. Like the people are very, very real. Every avatar equals one person that's in there. And then now since I've joined, um, the president of eXp actually contacted me and asked me to um, teach a little class on the auditorium in the, in the auditorium on video and so I went in there and it was a day where I didn't really dress up I would have never presented like it how I looked that day but I sat down at my office and there were 500 people in the audience and it was all digital from the world but it was very real they had very real questions and it's just a, it's a cool thing all right, and we already kind of talked about um, the just ability to travel borders, to travel into other countries. It's just the way that our world is going, um, this is the direction that it's headed. Okay, so as Mike kind of touched on earlier, we are a stock-based company. We're actually sold on the NASDAQ, which is pretty amazing when you think about it. Um, it's a publicly traded company. You're going to hear a lot of things about the stock. People have their own opinions. Is the stock good? Is it bad? Should you buy it? Should you not buy it? At the end of the day, my opinion is, what other real estate company offers you any stock? 
what other one offers you any stock. I really don't care if people have a bad or negative opinion about the stock personally, because for me, when I go into my dashboard and I haven't been at EXP that long, and I see that I've already got a ton of stock in there that I wouldn't have from somewhere else, it just, Blake knows. He's, he, he chose to invest. You can put 5% of every transaction, it just automatically gets pulled out of your um, commission check and it just goes right into stock. You don't even think about it, it's like a little savings plan. Um, and so I just, I actually didn't realize what I was signing up for and I clicked that button when I was <laughs> signing up and then <laughs> all of a sudden it started coming out but I now understand that I've got... Which is like yeah. 10% that money for well, So yes. my thing was, I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. And then Al's wise words were like, no young man, you need to do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I immediately emailed the accountant. She's like, okay, we got you signed up for the next one. So and I've never looked back since. So. All right, so there's a couple other things with um, stock. There's different ways that you can get stock. You get stock if once you have your first transaction, it just automatically goes in there. You get stock when you camp. We'll talk about that next. And you can also get stock when you sponsor somebody in and then they have their first transaction. So you just, I'll just saw Kirsten leave for her first EXP closing. So guess what's gonna happen to my account today? I'm gonna get stock because she just had her first closing. I'm also gonna get paid rev share on that. Um, and that's why we care a lot about people selling real estate here. It is still a real estate business. That is our primary goal is to sell real estate. And we will talk about that. If you are a productive agent and you are um, coming in as an individual and not on a team, you also have the ability to earn icon status. That means getting basically everything that you paid in on your share to the company, you basically can get it all back in the form of stock as long as you hit that icon status. And I think we'll go through that here. We also have a council, an advisory council of other fellow realtors that are looking out for the best interest of the company um, and that are making sure that your voice is heard. Um, I have been very fortunate with joining this crew that we have with us, that they have connected us with like all the people that you would need to be connected with at EXP. It's really cool. When we first started talking, I, I got to have a phone call immediately with Brent Gove, and he kind of told me about his experience. In December, we got to go and spend a week with Gene Frederick, who is like the godfather of EXP. And so, I, I mean, this is important, but I also feel like we're very fortunate working with these guys because our voice is heard here. All right, rev share. So this is the thing that everybody talks about with eXp. This is what the rest of the marketplace talks about. You're not gonna hear them really talk about all the things that I just talked about because they can't really understand it or compete with it. The technology is hard for them to compete with. The being able to cross borders is hard for them to compete with. So they're gonna just kinda dust it under the rug and then they're gonna say, Oh, all they care about is rev share and recruiting. They don't care about anything else. They don't care about selling real estate. All they care about is rev share. And I would say, I think that that is a misunderstanding. That was originally my understanding. And why I say that is because that's what I would have traditionally said to somebody that said they were thinking about EXP. I would say, oh, you're gonna go join an MLM. Good luck, bye, we'll see you in a couple months. That was before I understood what RevShare was and how it's not an MLM. Mike mentioned network marketing. It absolutely is network marketing because look at this network of people that we have and the collaboration that is behind it. And so like Kirsten walking out of here to have her first closing, normally if we were at another brokerage and she was going to have a closing, I'd be like, oh, Brad, she's got a closing. I don't have a closing. That's competition with me. And now today instead, I'm like, yeah, she has a closing because I'm going to make money off of that and she's going to make money off of that and Mike's going to make money off of that and David's going to make money off of that and Rosie's going to make money off of that all the way up to the seventh level. And that is why these guys are even here because they care about you guys succeeding as actual real estate agents and that is why RevShare is such a genius idea. So anytime that you personally sponsor somebody into the company, you will make RevShare from them up to a cap 
If they cap, then their rev share caps with you. Um, but you will make money off of the sales that they make. This is what I was just talking about. All the way down to a seventh tier. And as I was calculating where I fall in the hierarchy of people joining in, and why, why does it even matter? Well, because I want to know who cares about me having success, right? Well, I realized that Gene Frederick took a whole week to spend time with me, and I'm not even in his seventh level anymore. I'm, I'm the first person out of it. I'm the next generation. And so to me, that, that's the whole goal with eXp. It's not about this. It's just about helping each other succeed. This, though, is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool incentive. So I'm, I'm just going to jump in real quick. So yeah. we all own this company together yep. because we all own stock together, right? And whenever you close your first deal with EXP, you're not an Asian owner. So we all own it together regardless of the revenue share piece, mm -hmm. right? So we want to help everybody win anyways because we all own ESPI together mm -hmm. as shareholders. Yep. If the model and the business does well, we just do well in general. So. But there are seven levels here, and I'm going to play a video that you sent me that Gene, who I've been talking about, goes through kind of his version of it. And while I could sit here and do it, I kind of want to see you guys watch him as the master of this. Here's what revenue share is. How much does an agent pay in? I mentioned it earlier. How much is it? <laughs> That's the most you can pay in every year. That's the most. That's the cap. In other words, once you pay in the 16000 you go to 100% the rest of that year. And when you come back to your anniversary year, you'll start paying a cap again, right? So the most an agent can pay in is 16000 Here's what I want to share with you. We're growing this company through agents, not owners. So in other words, if I was selling it in my old days, when I was with Realty Executives or Keller Williams, I would have said, I've got a franchise to sell you. I sold franchises for a living. I was looking for Mitch. I'm really not looking for Mitch anymore. I'm looking for agents. Because agents are going to attract what? Other agents. And that's how we're growing this company so fast. So uh, Lisa, let me give an example. Let's say I sponsor you, OK? And you join the company, and you cap. The most money I will make on you in a year, by the way, like a referral fee. I call it a referral fee. Of the $16,000, we are going to give $2,800 to me as a thank you. 2800 2800 It's paid out monthly as you close property, right? So the two, I just like to give the total number, the most you can make on a capper, right? I don't do percentages. We got the percentages over here, but I like to do numbers because people go, you mean I can get $2,800 every year you cap? Yes. The first year, the second year, the third year, you're a capper. Once you go over 2.6 million with us, really it'd be about 3 million in this market because you're at 2.5%, right? Okay, everybody that does over three million, they're a capper. Now, Lisa, I sponsor you, right? You sponsor Carol, right? Over here. You bring in Carol. I get 2,800 from you, and guess how much I get from Carol when she caps? More. Lisa screamed more. This is when Glenn Sanford became a genius to me. Literally, when he showed me this, I went, why are you paying more on the second level than the first? He goes, Gene, I want it to be the very, very best referral program ever invented in the business. I want agents to refer agents. And he said something that didn't sink in. And I tell David this all the time. It didn't sink into me in the beginning. He goes, I want to organically grow through agents. He was correct. Agents share things better than owners ever did. I'm they really do. In other words, if we're the first real estate company nationally to grow through agents, not franchise sales. Okay? So I sponsor you. Lisa, I don't even know Carol, but Carol's sister is an agent in Illinois for Century 21 in Chicago. She joins. Right? So now you're getting 3200 from what? Carol's sister, if she caps, and I'm getting 2000 is this not cool? Are you kind of getting it? It goes seven levels. Let me give you an example. How can you create 3,000 a month in residuals? On the first level, you get six cappers. 
Now, you don't have to have cappers. I always say this in my presentation. So a lot of people go, well, do they have to cap? I go, no, no, no. I'm just giving you the most you'll ever make. So if you get six cappers on the first level times 2,800 is 16,800. The reason I use six is why? That pays for your cap. If you did nothing but get six people, three this year and three next year, you're 16,800 every year. In other words, go get six and you make more money here. Those six will bring six. You know why? It's life. You can't stop it, just so you know. That's the minimum. I've been doing this forever. Actually, the six will bring more than that, but I'm very conservative. If they bring six cappers times 32, that's 36,000 a year, 3,000 a month. Can somebody do this with a calculator? How much money can you make in a savings account? What's the interest rate in Florida in a savings account? 1%? It's 1%. I looked it up before I came. So take 36,000 divided by 0.01. Does anybody know what it is? It's 3.6 3 million. It's 3.6 million. It's 3.6 million. You've got a choice as an agent. You can either save 3.6 million or go refer six agents. It's your choice. It's okay with me. You know, I tell agents all the time, they go, well, but I don't know how to refer. I don't know how to attract people. I said, I got, I got news for you. This is August, let's say September next month. Is it easier next month to get two listings get two buyers under contract, or text two agents. What's gonna be the easiest activity? Text two agents. It's not hard. You just gotta scrape about two minutes out. So what I'm gonna say is every other real estate company I've ever been at, all they've talked about is making more money in sales. Now we're talking about getting residuals. Why not? It's just another bucket. It's not just a bucket, it's a big bucket. 3,000 a month. Does that change somebody's life? Raise your hand if 3,000 a month would change your life. Come on. Let me read you a text. Philip Baird sent me this yesterday. He got, by the way, I'm going to be real with you. Philip uh, does about two and a half million a year. He has two part-time jobs. He's got a 14-year-old kid trying to put him through. He's working, he's doing Uber. He's doing Uber and one other part-time job, selling real estate. I don't know if this sounds familiar to any of you guys, but he kind of struggles. He texted me, Gene, just paid my mortgage and my car payment with my rev share. You've changed my life. He got a check for $2,000. That's why I did this. It's exciting to me. Philip Baird. My buddy. Guys, you don't have to do it at a big level. If you just do this, by the way, are there more than two levels? There's seven. I just do this because I'm very, very conservative. Plus, you'd have 1,050 in shares, right? Hey, let's do this one. 10 who get 10. This is how I got my daughter, Nicole. I said, honey, why don't we do a three year plan? You guys have a three year plan? Are you guys going to plan in lead generation? Say yes. You've got plans and lead generation. Now we got a plan for passive income. I'm going to go get three people a year the next three years. Basically, I'm going to get 10 people. I said, can you do that? She goes, yes, I can. I said, I want you to go get 10 cappers in three years, and I want you to teach those 10 cappers to do what? Go get their 10. I said, that's all I want you to do. While you're selling real estate, while you're giving birth to the fifth grandchild, while you're doing everything, by the way, she's into it, right? Guess what? She goes, you're kidding. I said, if those 10 get 10, that's only $348,000 a year. She looks at me, this true story, two years ago. She goes, well, they all won't be cappers. And I said, so let's make them all half cappers. She goes, well, that's $175,000 a year, $15,000 a month. She looks at me just like Wolf on Wall Street. She goes, I quit my job, I come work for you. <laughs> Do you guys remember that scene in Wolf on Wall Street? I, I quit my job, I come work for you. She literally said that to me. She was running for 12 years a national company in tanning salons. She quit her job, 
She's making about four to 5,000 a month right now in rev share. She's pregnant, about ready to give birth. What a, what a gift. By the way, a year and a half ago, she took $20,000 from her 401k and bought, bought stock at about 60 cents a share. Have we changed her life? Guys, this is real. You're in on the beginning. We're in the garage. We're in Michael Dell's garage. Okay, now here's the cool thing. Here's what's gonna happen in real life. 10 don't get 10. I'm just telling you this. One of the 10 goes gets 40. Another one of the 10 gets 40, and another one gets 20 for, t for 100. And the other seven don't do anything. They stay with us, they love our stock, they do the 5%, they don't go anywhere. I'm trying to give you real life. Three of the 10 that you attract go crazy, okay? But this is actually what will happen eventually, won't it, Dave? Now here's the cool thing. These levels will fill in. Um, I only do two examples. We have a revenue share calculator. You can play with the numbers. You can do 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. It's really fun. I, 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 when I first saw this, I said, you guys got a calculator. I can just, I can guess. I can guess where it's going to be 27 months. You know, I can guess what it's going to be five years from now. And it was fun. So you can play with the numbers. Here's what I'm going to ask you. Who else is at a company that's given you passive income? opportunities. It's a game changer. We're just giving you the opportunity. Everybody has the same opportunity, right? So you either come with us or you go back to your other company and say, I want stock and I want rev share. And they're going to be going, oh my God, you've talked to eXp. And Gene, what you just saw there, that is, that's how he is. Like he, he is that way like that's he's authentically that way and by the way i was just with this daughter in puerto Vallarta last week and she's making 25 grand a month not five grand a month yep. now yeah so the stock's over ten dollars it was 60 cents back then yeah she's rich <laughs> <laughs> um and for any of you that want more detail on that i'm happy to like go and explain more of it later i have something in my office which is called a wealth chart which has kind of helped me lay it out and see how does this structure work because there's some tricks to it. You know, with your first tier, in order to collect on your second tier, you have to have five people and so on. And that's why all these numbers are on here. Um, and, and that keeps us incentivized to all keep going and to keep doing this and to keep helping each other. All right, EXP World. We kind of talked about this a little bit, but this is going to give you a glimpse into what it looks like. And again, you can get a guest pass to go in there. I'm happy to give a tour. You can go in there at any time. They actually have people in there to give you a tour around the world. Um, whoops. This is kind of what it looks like. You get your own little avatar. You get to pick out an outfit. <laughs> this will kind of just give you a glimpse into Walking in, you can spend your time like literally walking around, or you can just go. There's a menu. You can click on it, click where you want to go. It just shoots you right there. Like most people don't have time to just sit and wander through the world. Uh, although I was giving somebody a tour one day. Was that you guys? And I took you guys out on the boat. We were out on the boat. I was like driving around, showing them how it works. And I am a terrible boat driver. <laughs> and I drove over. There's only two boats in the world. I drove over the other guy's boat that headed out there. And so he, he like chased after us and came up. <laughs> this is gonna show you how real this world is. He came up, recognized my name in the boat, and then um, tried to talk to us. And I'm like, sorry, I'm giving a tour right now. Can't stay and chat. And then the next thing I know, he um, added me as a friend on Facebook. <laughs> uh, all right, so, but. You know, all of this stuff is really cool, but still, our primary goal is to continue selling real estate and have all the tools available to do it. It's a little daunting when you first join of like, oh my gosh, there's one tech platform, now there's another tech platform, now there's another tech platform. But actually, once you've got them all kind of loaded and you figure out what all the purposes are for them, it's not overwhelming at all. And we have somebody here who can answer questions for you at any time. Christy is kind of like our onboarder here in Minnesota. She will help you with anything that you need. Karn's team has now kind of got it figured out. Kirsten's group has kind of got it figured out now. And it's not actually that hard. 
Um, if you guys are used to Skyslope, we have a place where once you've got a deal, you load all of your stuff into Skyslope, the broker goes through, does a digital review, which is actually what ends up happening at any of the local franchise brick and mortar places anyway. How often do you actually see your broker in those offices? Rare. Um, and then we have Facebook for eXp. And there's tons of different groups, depending on if you've got something that you're interested in or just a geographical location. There's referrals being passed along. I've seen it happen. Open house, open house opportunities being shared. A lot of awesome stuff has come out of workplace um, for Facebook. And then we also have, you know, branding. And then the last thing is a CRM, KV Core. We have KV Core. It's a great CRM. I actually used to have that one when I was at a different office. Um, we've got it here, same, same type of CRM. Um, you can still use whatever CRM you're currently using and subsidize it with KV Core if you want. We can do um, squeeze pages, lead pages. There's all sorts of stuff. You can do make it rain. We have a couple agents here that are having great luck with that. You can also do Op City with, with EXP. So there's all sorts of things that you can do. In the back end on EXP, you've got a dashboard that you can log into and you can just kind of see like where you're at with your stock, where you're at with your agent count. In fact, um, Seth was pointing out this morning that my agent count started at one number and now it's up by four by the end of this week. So it's kind of cool to watch it grow. And we had a conversation about how when we first joined you guys and you know, I'm watching Mike post that he just hit 600 agents in his organization and like a month before that, Rosie was posting that she had just hit a milestone with her amount of agents and it starts growing exponentially because as long as we're helping each other, Agents are naturally attracted to this. In fact, when I was at the two other franchises that I was at before, I noticed that I was actually doing a lot of the coffee meetings with other agents. And I was attracting agents to those brokerages. And I think I got rewarded in going out to coffee a couple times. And that was it. Same thing, um, everything is mobile. You can look at everything. You can, um, this is for Skyslope. You can load all of them on there, look at stuff on your phone. I actually still do it the old fashioned way and look at from my desktop. Um, and here is just another inside look at what Facebook Workplace looks like. Here's KV Core, which we just kind of chat through. Do you have anything that you want to add about KV Core? Just what I talked about yesterday, you guys. Like Lead generation is everything in real estate, right? So the more robust your CRM, the better. Um, so when we talked yesterday about the dynamic searching, the behavioral texting, uh, the open house apps, the millions mapped app. It's, it's normally $600 a month, which we get for free. But this is how you really, truly control your business with the CRM. And the power behind that is enough to give you an extra deal a week. You know, it's, it's really there. Uh, building landing pages and squeeze pages. I had a guy a couple uh, a couple months ago when he got on KB Core. He's just kind of playing around. He lives on a golf course, and he said, "Okay, and it, and Palmdale is the city by us." And he said, uh, "Golf course homes in Palmdale." And just posted it for free on his Facebook. He got like three leads and an escrow the next day. Somebody that bought on the golf course from his little landing page that he built in minutes, and that was not even promoted. So I was like, "Okay, that was powerful." And then so we're even teaching agents how to do that. So every morning they wake up and do a new landing page or squeeze page, and it's all IDX based. So you can say, you know, the best deals in Minneapolis between two hundred and three hundred thousand, or the best duplexes, you know, under five hundred thousand. And you just post them every day, and people are attracted to that. They click on it, and then they launch on campaigns, and then the AI will communicate with them and pull the cream to the top, of course. And then you know exactly who's hot leads. The technology is ridiculous. If you don't have it, you're not going to make it the business because that's where it's at, pulling all the active people to the top. That's what I love about KD Core. So if you have it and you're not using it, start thinking about using it. There's training for it in the world. We also have Mike, who I bet if we had a bunch of us that wanted to do a little KV Core training, he would help us with that. Um, branding is available also in the dashboard area. Um, obviously, we do our own internal branding, and that's one of the things that's available to you guys. You can do your own thing with the groups that you're joining, or you can just go ahead and use what eXp has also made available for you. 
All right, so to join eXp is actually pretty simple. Once you have made up your mind, you just go online, there's a link that you click, you go in, you fill out the application, we'll see you through the onboarding, and um, it's pretty fast because it's all basically digital, it just it doesn't take that long. The cost of joining eXp, um, so there's a $150 startup fee, which also includes your $85 a month fee. It's $85 a month to be a part of eXp, which is pretty amazing. We have a couple different options for capping. So if you come in as an individual agent, you have a 80-20 split with eXp until you hit that $16,000 cap. Once you've hit that cap, if you wanna go on to earn Icon, you need to pay in an additional $5,000 per, it's $250 per transaction, basically. And so here in Minnesota, at about a $265,000 price point average, it's about 30 deals to fully cap at eXp and to hit icon status. They have a few other new things that they've introduced that they have expectations for, for their icon agents, which are actually community-based incentives. Like they want people to give back, so they require you to go in and do, there's, there's a lineup. Like if you're interested in hitting icon and, and receiving the icon status, I can walk you guys through that, but you have to go in and like do something educational within the world or give back within, right? So once, yep, once you hit icon status, which we had talked about a little earlier, you earn back in stock $12,000 immediately and then you earn $2,000 per EXP event. So one is the shareholder summit, which there's one coming up in April in Orlando. And then the second one is EXP con, which I believe this year is going to be in Orlando, Vegas. Vegas. Where you live. Yeah. <laughs> we can all stay at David's Listen, house. Yeah. Quick, question, quick question on that. If by April, I don't know if I'll be capped out by April, but if I go to that event, and then I cap, then does it get recycled back to me? Yeah, you're fine. Okay, gotcha. They just track it. March to March. Okay, gotcha. Yep, they track that you went. Anybody have any questions on any of this? Yes, Rosie? I don't know if you said this, but um, I know that in, in my office in, in LA, um, the KB Core, um, there's, there's a bunch of agents that just really don't like the techie stuff, so they just pay KB Core 250 a month and they're getting about 25, 30 leads a month through, you know, they'll do everything for you, you just pay 250 a month, so. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know about that. Yeah, you could just, they'll just do so, everything. Where's that link at? <laughs> make it rain. Oh, make it rain. Oh, yeah, 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 that's. Okay. I did talk about make it rain, but I Sweet. didn't explain it that way. Yeah, that. So, and, you know, if yeah. you've got a situation where I mean, it's only eighty five dollars to be here. Mm -hmm. You know, spend yeah. another two hundred and you know get leads. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, that's kind of our presentation. Would love to answer any questions anybody has about it. If anybody has any questions. Otherwise, that's kind of that's kind of it. Whatever you guys are thinking in your head, other people are thinking too. So don't be afraid to ask because that's what we're here for. And we're going to stick around after. Answer questions. Yeah. Whatever. We're, we're going to be here. It's, it's overwhelming and it's hard to believe. You might be thinking, "What's the catch?" And there's not. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. It's, it's that good. <laughs> so anything you're thinking, ask questions. Yeah. I have a question. So you have said there's a couple different ways to come on, and if you come on as an individual agent, oh yeah, that. yeah. Can you talk about the other options? Yep. So if you come on as a, a teammate, like say that you're coming in under somebody that had been an individual or someone that is currently running a team, then you have an eight thousand dollar cap. It gets cut in half. You won't earn that back in stock because you're not hitting icon status. But a lot of people don't really care because you're saving yourself the remainder of whatever you might go over. You know, so if you're not if you're not planning on doing 30 plus deals a year, you know, if you're only going to do 15 deals a year, which is still great, that's still one a month, um, then a team option would probably be great. And of course, depending on what team you would join, depending on that team, there's various incentives to be on a team usually too with lead gen and whatnot. So, like here at Bright Birch, we have a team, which is like my people here. And then we also just have people here underneath our brand at Bright Birch. Um, 
Karn has the same opportunity within Property Geeks. And I don't think anybody else in here right now is. Oh, yeah, you are, you're doing it now, too, right, with exceeding expectations. Um, and how we've kind of orchestrated that, just so you guys can understand that, is um, if you come in, we have like a brand agreement, and we have certain things that you have to, you know, agree to with maintaining the brand. And um, then depending on the group that you join, they might have, you know, they might collect a transaction fee or something from you. So. Thank <laughs> you.